Gonioscopy is the biomicroscopic examination of anterior chamber angle of the eye and it gives clear insight into pathogenesis of glaucoma. This video shows the technique of performing gonioscopy, identification of different angle structures and the gonioscopic findings in commonly encountered scenarios. There are two types of gonioscopy, direct and indirect. Direct gonioscopy means there is direct visualization of the angle and it is done by Cope, Swan, Jacob and Barkan type of lenses. The indirect gonioscopy allows the observer to identify the angle structures easily. It is done by scleral and corneal type of gonio lenses. The scleral type is the Goldman type of lens and the corneal type is Zeiss and Posner Schlossmann. The gonioscopy is performed under topical anesthesia. When we are using scleral type of lens, coupling agent is used that is methyl cellulose. Patient is asked to look up and the lens is gently guided in place. This is done under dim illumination. The patient's head and the examiner's elbow should be rested properly. All the angles, all the quadrants are viewed. And while taking out the lens, it should be gently taken out. Schwalbe's line identification is must in gonioscopy and this is done by locating corneal wedge. A thin slit of light slightly inclined from the oculars is projected onto the cornea. In the angle, two separate corneal reflections are perceived. One illuminates the inner and the other the outer aspect of the cornea. The portion between the two lines is called corneal wedge and corneal wedge actually depicts the Schwalbe's line. So here we can see the corneal wedge. Now here you can see the corneal wedge being located. Since it's a very thin slit, this is difficult to perceive, but here we can see the corneal wedge being created. The normal angle structure seen in an open angle from outside in our Schwalbe's line non-pigmented trabecular meshwork, pigmented trabecular meshwork, scleral spur and ciliary body. Here we can see an open angle, we can see the trabecular meshwork. So this is the open angle. Manipulative gonioscopy differentiates truly closed angle from the closure seen because of convex iris configuration. Here the patient is instructed to shift the gauge towards viewing mirror and if the angle structures which were not earlier visible become visible now then it depicts the convex iris configuration. Now here you can see the angle structures are actually not visible right now and now the patient has been asked to look into the mirror and we can see now that the trabecular meshwork is visible. So the angle structures are visible now, meaning thereby there is a convex iris configuration. So this is actually manipulative gonioscopy. Indentation gonioscopy differentiates a positional angle closure from synechial angle closure. This is done by using corneal type of gonio lens. Here we can see that angle is not seen. Now the corneal type gonio lens is pressed against cornea which in turn displaces aqueous into the angle and the angle becomes visible in a positional angle closure and not in synechial angle closure. Now here uh, the video is showing the gonioscopic findings in primary angle closure disease. The angle structures are not visible. So this is a closed angle. You cannot see any angle structures. There are few pigment clumps which are seen in the angle which depict that there were previous angle closure attacks. Here again we can see few pigment clumps.
this is the magnified view of the closed angle no angle structure is visible this is again the closed angle and here the peripheral anterior synechia is being shown so in primary angle closure disease you get a closed angle pigment clumps may be visible there may be peripheral anterior synechia which are visible So this video has shown the closed angle in different uh, situations. Now this angle is showing hyperpigmentation. You can see a lot of pigmentation in the angle. Now this is the angle in cases of pseudo exfoliation glaucoma. we can see the fluffy matter hyperpigmentation and the open angle again we can see the pseudo exfoliative material in the angle the fluffy material and the pupillary margin is also showing the pseudo exfoliative material now this is the angle in cases of uveitic glaucoma we can see lot of pigmentation peripheral anterior synechia now this is the angle which we see in cases of angle recession glaucoma the widened angle ciliary body can also be it is also visible rather in cases of neovascular glaucoma we see the rubiosis iridis and there may be an open angle or a closed angle this photograph of the patient is showing a closed angle in cases of silicon oil induced glaucoma the silicon oil bubbles are seen in the angle and here we can see very well the silicon oil in the angle now this is the angle in cases of developmental glaucoma this is the congenital angle anomaly which we are seeing so the gonioscopy which is an invaluable tool in glaucoma diagnosis and management must be learned by every ophthalmologist and this is actually an art and science which is acquired only through experience thank you